All right, and hey, welcome back to a, another devotional. Uh, again, my name is Chad Conant, and I'm uh, one of the members of the worship team for St. Andrew's Community United Methodist Church. And I just wanted to share another uh, devotional with you guys. And um, I kind of took DA up on his suggestion a while back. He did. Uh, he suggested one of his sermons about doing a uh, a Bible roulette. Well, I kind of did the same thing with the hymnal. I want to do like a hymnal roulette. And so uh, last time I did a video, it was kind of more contemporary song, but this time I wanted to kind of dive deep into a, um, a more hymnal, kind of more traditional type song. And I landed on uh, Great Is Thy Faithfulness, and it's one that I've always loved. And I, But I really kind of wanted to dive into it and uh, kind of see where, kind of where it came from scripturally and everything. And so uh, I looked it up and I just kind of Googled Great Is Thy Faithfulness scripture, and it, it took me to uh, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 23 where it says, Great is His faithfulness, His mercies begin afresh each morning. And if you've ever sang this song, you know that's basically the chorus right there. And so, uh, so I thought that was really cool, but then I kind of got hooked on the word lamentations and lament being the root word, and I was like, man, what, is that? what does that word really mean? I, I think I know what it means, but it's not something I, it's not a word I use every day. And so I uh, looked it up, and it said a passionate expression of grief. And I thought, okay, well, that's uh, interesting. So I kind of took some more research into uh, the book of Lamentations. It's a pretty short book. It's about five chapters. And uh, some research showed up, and I thought, wow, this is the, the more I researched it, the more interesting it got. And I kind of felt like it applied to kind of what we're going through now. And uh, so the book of Lamentations was uh, an expression of grief uh, for the people of Jerusalem because their entire city had been destroyed in about 586 B.C., and um, so I thought that's kind of interesting. The, the five chapters are kind of the, the whole story arc of uh, being you know, devastated. And so chapter one kind of talks about the city is, in a des is like a desolate, weeping widow uh, overcome with misery. And so you could say that we're in a similar situation. I mean, we're obviously, we're, our city has not been destroyed or you know, there's no mass destruction and things like that. But our, our everyday life has definitely changed and it is definitely different. And so there's there's definitely a lot of sadness going on with that. And, um, and in chapter two, it talks about, you know, the miseries are connected with certain things and, um, and just various acts of God and things like that. But then chapter three is where it got interesting for me and it's where it talks about hope. And, you know, again, the last video I did was kind of talking about hope. And so that's kind of my big theme for this year. And uh, the chapter three, it, it's about, you know, the suffering would be for good and a better day will dawn. And so that's kind of how I look at it with it. everything that's going on right now. It, it definitely stinks and it's, it's no fun, but God is with us through it and he's on the other side of this and he'll be there and um, he, he, he is faithful. And so he's definitely faithful to us. And so um, I'd like to just play the, the, the hymn for you. If uh, you don't mind, and obviously, you know, if you're at home, sing along or, you know, just listen along however you want to do it. But uh, so we're going to do Great is, the, Great is Thy Faithfulness.
safe out there and can't wait to see you next time.